afternoon, uh, Gentil. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon to you too. Well, this is morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is the 26th edition of the Cost of Living Report uh, by Mercer. Tell us about it. What is the aim? Well, the aim of the survey is to um, for multinational organization to use to determine the allowances that they give for their expatriates, employees in different locations that they um, send them to. Um, and also it's the way of them to make sure that um, they maintain the standard of living for these expats that they are being placed abroad. Even as a way for them to also make sure that they maintain their competitiveness in attracting and retaining um, talent. Now, this edition is coming at a time when the world is grappling with COVID-19 pandemic. How will this survey help businesses, corporates, and even the government in decision making? Um, firstly, I'd like to say that um, we have two editions of the survey. Um, in our first edition, which came right before um, COVID-19 actually hit um, Africa, um, that information will be able to see in our second edition. Um, what it means for corporates and government is you have to, the survey shows us, will be able to show you um, what are the, the important areas that we need to attend to, um, especially when it comes to expats. Um, for multinationals, they need to make sure that expats maintain their standard of living for when they come from. They shouldn't um, change in any form or way. Um, so it's very important for, for them to use this um, this survey information. In terms of government, it shows us in how attractive our cities or our countries are for these multinationals to come operate in them and send their skills to um, help us grow in our economy. All right, this year's uh, survey finds African countries rising in ranking in terms of a high cost of living. And then the report did mention Lagos rising seven places when compared to last year's finding due to high cost for rent and high prices for groceries. What perhaps changed between last year and this year that gave rise to the high cost of rent and groceries in Lagos? Does it have anything to do with the COVID-19 pandemic? Um, at this current stance, um, no, we wouldn't say it is has anything to do with um, the COVID-19 stance because um, we the survey was conducted early Feb um, to early March, which is before COVID-19 actually hit um, significantly into Africa. Um, but in terms of why these rises exist, I mean, for for for. For a city like um, Lagos um, in a country like Nigeria with a double digit um, inflation rate, um, this will have an impact on the prices of these um, two aspects. Um, and we also find in our, in our survey that um, even practice in how accommodation, um, for example, standard lease terms makes the accommodation expensive. If, um, for example, a landlord would require you to pay um, a year, two years to three years um, worth of rent in advance. When in other countries you find that you ask for like a security deposit for a month. Um, that's what makes it expensive in that stance. Quick one before I let you go. Uh, what is your methodology in coming up with this data? Do you by any chance work with the National Bureau of Statistics? Do you track the inflation data? Um... <laughs> We work with a number of researchers in doing um, this uh, survey of ours, um, and we mainly look at the international basket of goods and services when we calculate into the rankings of the um, cost of living. Um, we also, um, we've been doing this for a while, for over 30 years now. Our methodology is quite unique and quite robust. I mean, we look at over 200 items um, in each city that we cover. Um, and this is across a number of categories um, when, when, um, when we look into the data. All right, thank you very much, Edidinto Kwape, the Associate Career Products at Mesa Africa. Thank you for your time.